guys welcome to another video with me Laura and this is going to be another yarn share video I'm actually going to be introducing to you some brand new yarns that came out just this week um, they're by King Cole and I think some of them especially are very autumnal in colour, some really lovely autumny colours to share with you. So let's begin. The first one is called Twirly Tweed Chunky. So as you can tell by the name, it's a nice chunky yarn. Um, so that'll be a nice bulky yarn in US terminology, I think. So let's have a look at the, um, the yarn details. Here we go. So it's a premium acrylic yarn and it's also got wool in as well. So it's 80% premium acrylic, 18% wool and it's got 2% viscose as well. And you get quite a lot with one big ball. These are quite big chunky balls and you get a good uh, 203 meters uh, per ball and you can wash it at 40 degrees which is always useful but what I love about these yarns is that they change colour as you work through so it's not probably not the best example this one this is um this one's called marshmallow so it's like a sort of got greys and whites and beiges in the colour but let's pick one that really changes colour and the most popular because I shared this on Instagram the other day and the most popular by far is this one, which is Toffee. This one here definitely was rated the most popular. So this one here is Toffee. And these yarns recommend a six millimeter needles. It'll be about the same for a crochet hook as well. So this one is Toffee. And I've got some other shades as well to show you as well in their range. We've got this one, which I really like this one, sort of red and greys. Quite a big fan of red and greys. This colour is called Red Velvet, this one here. So these are really scrummy. These are really, really soft as well. They're really scrummy soft. So these would make a wonderful, like, nice hat or even a nice jumper, scarf, anything like that, nice and snuggly. These would be absolutely perfect. And even though they've got wool in, it doesn't feel scratchy at all, which is good. But look at those colours. I mean, lovely. Look at those textures. Really nice. So that one was Red Velvet, that one. And another one... Let's have a look, see if you can guess what this one's going to be called. So I've got this one here, nice blue colour, quite a cool colour, it's not so autumnal, but considering we went to an arboretum the other day and um, we had some beautiful autumn colours and also perfect blue skies, it's really sunny days, so you could argue it's still autumn. <laughs> but this one, can you guess the colour? This one is called Jelly Bean, this colour so certainly makes me think of jelly beans. So that's the blue jelly bean colour and back to some more autumnal colours, especially this one. This one I think my memory serves me is called pistachio, this one here. And this one's got creams and browns and greens in as well. And I love working with these yarns because if you're making a project that's quite repetitive um, and gets a bit boring after a while, um, these can be really fun to use instead because the colour changes as you work through creating some lovely different patterns and textures and stuff. And all the, what I also like are these little flecks of different colours that just appear every now and then. Little hints of blues and reds. I like that. It's nice. Every so often. So that one's pistachio. And the other two I've just dropped down. <laughs> so let's pick them up again. Okay, so the next one is a nice rich purple and some pinks. And look at those swirls in the middle. Isn't that gorgeous? Really, really lovely. And again, it's got little flecks of other colours, which I really like. It's even got a little bit of green in there as well. So I really like that. This one, can you guess the colour? What do you think this will be called? Da, da, da. Sugar Plum. So this one's called Sugar Plum. And the last one is just a grey colour but it's got a nice mixture of different shades of grey and uh, some nice light colours there and a nice sort of dark stormy grey in there and this colour is called licorice which is quite nice I'm a big fan of licorice <laughs> so and again it's got little flecks of colour 
in there. So this yarn, so that's the range of the twirly tweed chunky yarns, if these take your fancy. I'm gonna try and come up with some project ideas. What would you make with this yarn? What, what do you think would make a good project for this yarn? Let me know in the comments below. And you never know, I might just pick that as a project and design you guys a pattern with this yarn. So there we go, there's a range of seven colors there. And let's move on to the next one. So again, we're keeping to an autumn theme for the next yarn. And it's called, and it's called Stormy. So this is part of their big value range, the big value super chunky yarn. And it's called, this, this particular one is called Stormy. And again, it's a nice, this one's actually a nice big super chunky yarn. So I love working with big yarns because the project, projects just work up so much more quickly. So um, yeah, so big value super chunky. So in America, this would be like a super bulky. So you're looking at quite a big hook and needle size, a 10 millimeter. So this is probably a yarn weight of about six. And you wash this one at 30 degrees and you get, it's made from just 100% premium acrylic, so it's just acrylic, there's no wool in this one. Um, you can't tell the difference too much. The one thing, I, I'm actually a big fan of the um, Big Value um, King Cole yarns. I've used these ever since I've been crocheting from, I think when they first came out, I was using their Big Value, because what I like is they're a nice, easy acrylic, to work with but they're super super squishy and soft so you know sometimes you can get those acrylic yarns and they feel really cheap and scratchy um, these are not it these are really nice soft squishy um, acrylic yarns so if I was recommending an acrylic yarn I would especially one that's a good value I would always go with the big value um, yarns by King Cole so this is the stormy version and as you can see they have some interesting stormy names uh, this one's called cyclone and it's kind of like a sort of greeny it's kind of got hints of blue and green in there but it's a gray overall but it does have a little hint of green and blue which might come up on camera and you get 88 yards at 81 meters per ball 100 gram ball so that one there is cyclone there's a picture of a project you could make there. I think that's a knitted project. They've got, the good thing about King Cards, they have a lot of um, crochet and knitting patterns to go with the particular yarns as well. So it's always worth checking those out as well. So that one, yes, yeah, Cyclone. Um, let's have a look at another one. This one is, I know my mum would like this one, a really gorgeous, rich, plummy color. So there's another project that goes with this one there. And this color is called Tempest. There we go, it's a nice rich, and it's quite accurate on camera. It's a nice sort of plummy, plummy colour. <laughs> so there we go, have a look, squish factor. Squishy, squishy, it's really nice. Um, yeah, and the next one in their range, let's go for, let's go for the bluey one. So we've got a nice blue colour, which is nice. Let's have a look at the project which goes with that. Oh, that looks cosy. So there we go. You probably need more than one ball to make that project, I'd imagine. Um, but this colour is a monsoon. So <laughs> um, next colour is so we've got a nice sort of plain grey. Which, if I compare to the other sort of greeny grey, you can see the difference in the grey. So this colour is more grey grey, if that's a word, and it's called blizzard. So whereas the cyclone one is more of a greeny grey. There we go. I think I've used a similar colour to this before, actually, in some of their other big value yarns. It's still so squishy. Really nice. So, yeah, so that one is Blizzard. And we've got two left. We've got a brownie colour as well. And uh, do we look at the project for that one? So there we go. That's the project for that one. That colour shows off that one and that one there. So this brownie colour here, with all the different textures of different shades of brown, is called Hurricane. So you see they've got their stormy names. And then we've got another red. It's a much more rich red, this one here. Really nice Christmassy red. And that's a project to go with it, show it off. And this one's called Tornado. Okay, and that's like a nice rich red. So that's much more redder than this plummy one. So there we go. That's the range of the big value, super chunky stormy range, those colors there. The greeny grey, the grey, the brown, the red, 
purple and blue. So there we go, that might be an interesting yarn for you to try. I'll put links in the description below um, to where you can get this yarn from if you want to try out some of this yarn. But again, let me know in the comments below what you would make with this yarn, what's your favorite shade? And, uh, and I might come up with a project um, with this yarn. And I've got one more yarn to show off to you. And this yarn, it's a little bit different, so it's not so autumn-y, it's more of a baby yarn. And this one's been released this week and it's called the Comfort Cheeky Chunky Yarn by King Curls. It's a really fun a baby yarn. And this one is super, super soft. This is even softer than this, this yarn. This is like, just feels really squishy. Have a look at the close-up, it focuses. And this one is made from have a look this one's made from acrylic and nylon so that's probably why it feels even softer 6% acrylic 40% nylon um, so you can probably even use this for socks um, but you get 106 meters per 100 gram ball and you can wash at 40 degrees which is obviously very useful with children's projects but again it's a nice chunky yarn so these are all nice chunky yarns that have come out this week and um, so your, it suggests sort of six to eight millimeter crochet or knitting needle size. So the same applies for crochet hooks. So there we go. And this shade here, there's this sort of mixture of sky blue, whites and hints of yellowy greens and even browns. It's called Limeade. So nice fun colors. And there's a few of these colors. I think there's seven in total. So let's have a look at these, shall we? So the next one, let's have a look at this one here. This is a lighter colour. It's got little flecks of turquoise, purples and pinks, which is so sweet. And this one is called Sherbet. So there we go. I don't know if you know, do you guys have Sherbet in other countries? If you don't know what Sherbet is, it's like a sort of fizzy um, sweet that you, it's quite popular in the UK. I used to love Sherbet when I was little. So that one's called Sherbet. There we go. And the next one is called, let's have a look at this one. So this one's more sort of got browns and creams and greys in, it's a bit different. And this one is called Cinder Toffee. I have no idea what Cinder Toffee is. I know what Toffee is, but not Cinder Toffee. So let me know. Um, so there's that colour. And next one, we've got like a sort of mixture of blues and yellows and it's quite similar to this one, but it's got little flecks of dark blue and uh, it's got more yellow. And this one's called Jelly Bean. There we go, Jelly Beans. They've all got really nice, fun, sweet flavors, candy flavors. And then this one here, which has got flecks of, flecks of brown and it's got gray and it's got this lovely sort of pinky red color. I really like that color actually. And lots of white. And this color is called Peach Fizz. <laughs> and the last one in this range, which I've been saving the best to last, is a nice pinky one here. So I really love this color. So what do you think this color would be called? What do you think? Bubble gum. <laughs> I was gonna go with candy floss or bubble gum. So bubble gum at this color. So it's a nice pink. So there we go. That is the Comfort Cheeky Chunky Yarn, which I'd imagine will be really good for baby clothes um, and uh, even toys or baby blankets, things like that. It's really soft. It's quite, it's quite silky feeling. If you can see that shine on the camera, so it's quite a silky soft yarn. So there we go. That's some new yarns that have come out just this week by King Cole that I thought I would share with you. And again, let me know in the comments below what you would make with this yarn if you had this yarn and which is your favourite colour. And I'll design a project hopefully with this yarn with the uh, most popular answers. So there we go. That's what I like to do. And uh, that's it for now. I will see you soon for some more crochet fun um, using some of this yarn, which helps keep me designing, getting some of this yarn in. So uh, it's certainly my, my stash was getting a bit low. So I've been getting all these yarns in, which uh, will hopefully help me keep designing for you guys. <laughs> but I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.